That's it. Yeah, y'all see it. Two times spicy. What's up, y'all? Blooper. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody is enjoying your weekend. It's cold and rainy here. So, you know, you know, it is what it is. We're going to let y'all know what's going on, what we had going on this morning, and what we had going on in the last week and a half. We're going to get to all of that. It's just been a week, baby. It's it seemed like a week and a half. This is my baby, Sharice. This is my baby CJ, y'all. And we are back with another video. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the little bell to be notified whenever we drop a video. Y'all, we got some food, we got some conversation, and we got some Frank. Y'all know we got to do when we see Frank. Everybody bow your heads, Frank. Father God, we come to you today praying that you put hands over those who are less fortunate. Please put hands over this food as it goes to our soul. In Jesus' name, my wife, I, and Frank pray, amen. Amen. Frank, we got a story for you, even though you was here to see it. But we got to tell the people. <laughs> All right, y'all. So today we are eating some good old Papa John's. As y'all can see. You just don't show the bottom. Huh? You don't show that bottom. You got to make sure you don't show this. Oh, yeah. Um... We got the uh, some Papa John's and some wings. We got some garlic sauce. So, yeah, we about to eat. eat. We're going to do a thumbnail and then we're going to eat. I know my wife hungry. I'm, I'm definitely hungry. I'm a little hungry. Let me just do it from right here. I'm messing up because it's the second time I had bread today, but I'm going to work it off. Give y'all a little, let's get a little thumbnail going, all right? I was about to say, why you only got one slice of pizza on that, that plate? All right, y'all, so, hope everybody is good. Y'all, I love Papa John's. Because, I love, yeah. you want these? I love, um, Frank, I'm gonna sit you right over here for now. I love Papa John's because I love their um, garlic sauce and the peppers they give you that you can bite in this. You know, y'all know what it is. And I got some good old ranch, best ranch in the world to me. I got a Pepsi to drink. And we got, you know, we're gonna tell y'all what's going on. As well, on. so we appreciate everybody for the continued support of the social den. Absolutely. We couldn't ask. We couldn't ask for better uh, supporters ever. Um, but this morning, man, we uh, my wife and I was planning it. You know, we woke up, and got all of the, you know, all our stuff together, and we went around the corner to a church that does a flea market. And y'all know, every time we go and sell things, you know, for it's usually for our giveaways and stuff like that. So. This was, you know, surrounded heavily blessings by CJ and Sharice, y'all know. And we did very well. You know, we sold some a lot of products and items and stuff. And um, not products, I'm sorry, items like clothes and jewelry and stuff like that. And we did very well, you know, and all of that money goes into the pot for the giveaways and stuff. So yep, we are very happy. The best we've, this is the fourth time we've done it. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Outside of sometimes setting up. And having a yard sale, mm -hmm. but this is the best that we've ever done since doing it. Um, we always start our prices at one thing. Um, we never go too high because, again, we still want to help people and make it very affordable. Right. So we started everything. We agreed to everything being like ten dollars and less. Right. And then after a couple hours, everything went down to two dollars. Mm -hmm. Take it for mm -hmm. two. And we had one family who came and she was like $2 and one of the daughters got so happy. She started going through everything. Mm -hmm. 
and then we had a box because if there's anything that has like a spot or um, like the jewelry that we get donated if there's something that's wrong with it or something like that we'll put it in a box for free because we think it's trash but it's not trash to others and it cleaned out that free box mm -hmm. so we made out really really good today yep it was cold and rainy but it was worth it and then by the time we finished and got home the rain was coming down you know what i'm saying but um you know spending time with my wife and doing something for the community is always a plus so um diva didn't come stink didn't come nope she stayed asleep mm -hmm. Which we do, she would. We wouldn't. We didn't want her out there in that cold and rain anyway. Yeah, we got up kind of early because we had to go to Walmart first. Right. But I do want to say thank you to my husband because although CJ helps me a lot behind the scenes, um, you know, on the weekend CJ like to have his beer and stuff. Last two flea markets that we've done, I got up and I had to do everything by myself, and my baby committed to not having a drink last night, and I did not think he was going to get up early, but he was up bright and early and ready to go, so I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Ain't no problem. And the last one that I didn't go to, I don't even think I did that then either. I don't think. I think I was just tired. No, you drank. Oh, I did? Mm -hmm. Okay. So on top of the drinking, I was, it was, um... On top of drinking, I was tired, you know, from work as well. So, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, it was it was dope. We had a good time. Met some good people. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that was that. But we want to let y'all know, tell y'all what happened. This is story time. Mm -hmm. We got story time for y'all. So, to give y'all a background, I mean, a backup, you know, background story. We live on a street that is a very busy street as far as cars go. We have a driveway. Sometimes I don't park in the driveway because the way we do it is Sharice has to pack has to park behind me because I leave out for work first. Me and I take our daughter to work, I mean to school and I go to work right after. That particular day, which was Sunday, no Saturday, sorry, Saturday, uh Saturday we was out. We used to do had our family day like we usually do. And we used Sharice's car. So when we got back, she parked, I left my car on the street. And I just left it out there. And I let my wife take over from here. Why you want me to take over? Because you the one that heard it. Okay. So last Saturday. Auntie went live, right? Auntie was live. We go to bed. And um about 320 something I hear a bang and it immediately woke me about my sleep and as soon as I got about my sleep I hear you know how you press on the gas of a car but the car isn't going anywhere I heard that so I jumped up and I think I ran to the guest room I ran to the guest room and I looked out the window I don't know why but I went to the guest room and looked out the window and I seen a car facing CJ's car and I seen a girl and she kept running to the front of her car pushing the tire trying to push the tire in and then she would get back in her car close the door you would hear her pressing the gas and she was trying to turn the wheel but the car wasn't going anywhere so I said CJ I think somebody hit your car he jumps up I'm surprised you didn't get dizzy as fast as you jumped up and baby got um ranch so um, I'm surprised he didn't get dizzy, but he jumped right up and he was like, what? So we both come to the front door. Now <clears throat> we stand at the front door, although CJ jumped about his sleep and we were looking, he was like, no baby, I don't think she hit my car. I think she just, I was still out of it, you know, stuck in the middle of the street or something. So I'm like, no, I got this gut feeling, but I have on no clothes, like no clothes. 
So CJ goes back to the room. He said he went to go look out the window. I had went to use the bathroom because I had to pee. And I was like, I'm going to call the cops. But in the meantime, my neighbor called. And she was like, somebody just hit CJ's car and she's trying to get away. And I was like, no, she said, I think somebody hit CJ's car and I look like she's trying to get away. And I was like, okay, I'm going to call the cops. And she said, no, the cops are here. So I forgot that I had collision the collision feature on that car. Um, so when she hit it, the impact called the cops right away. Mm -hmm. Thank God. And um, we hurry up. We slip. I finish. Wash my hands. We slip on something. CJ go outside. The cops are talking to us. As soon as I go outside, I hear the cops say three times, don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. And then he says, tell the truth. Mm -hmm. The car. Oh, my God. I was just like, are you freaking... Like, I wish that our camera didn't pick it up because I think it was on the other side. Like, the way she hit it, the way she came in, our camera didn't pick it up. And I went to our neighbors to see if anybody else got it. Um, I'm just so curious to see how she hit it. But, oh my God. So, Sunday was... Sunday was terrible. They had to... They locked her up because she was drinking. And they called her mom. She was 27 years old. They called her mom. Her mother came out. She she apologized. She was real nice. She said, we're going to try to get this taken care of. Thankfully, they had insurance. We was able to get a rental car same day. Um, but then on Tuesday, I got an email at 7.26 a.m. about and said, the car is a total loss. Yep. So... It's been a stressful week. Yes. A stressful week. But I want to say things calmed down around Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And I finally was like, you know what? I'm just going to get us to God. I can't keep walking around angry like this. Um, I did ask the cop right away. Not right away, but um, before they left the scene, you know, was she okay? Because I did want to make sure she was okay. And then trying to look at the positive in it, I did say, you know, at least she hit the car and didn't hit somebody right. because somebody could have been crying over losing their family mm -hmm. member. And we can get another car. So, you got to take the good with the bad. But yeah. that is what we've been dealing with. So now we're looking for another car. Yeah. We are now looking for a new vehicle. And y'all saw the pictures. She did a number on our on, on, on our car, man. Good thing is, excuse me, like I said earlier, I said we was we was using Sharice's car for our family day, so we do have means of transportation. But now it's going to be kind of because we're used to having two vehicles, so. And our schedules are so different, mm -hmm. and we both work on the opposite sides of town. So. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but let go and let God, mm -hmm. and you know, if all works out, we should be in another vehicle here soon, hopefully. And um, yeah, y'all. So. We was, it was, it was a rough week. It was a rough, I would say it was a rough Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I'll say that. It was a rough, that was rough for many reasons, but you know, here we are. We good. We going to make it work. We going to work it out. God going to help us work it out and we going to be good, you know, but, um, you know, to be woke up, to be sleeping soundly and then to be wake, you know, woke up by somebody hitting something and you, you know, usually when you hear it, you'd be like, I hope that's not my car or I hope everybody's okay. Whoever, whoever it is. Right. But when you're on the other end of it, it's just like, man, come on, man. Because to be honest, we've been awakened to that noise before, mm -hmm. but a lot of times because people come speeding down our street and I, people, I don't know why people choose to drink and drive mm -hmm. um, or CJ call it drunk and drive. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, what you call it thing, like a medium at the end of our street and people come and they usually plow right into it. Yeah. And a lot of times they tie your pop or something like that. But there have been times like I can, I, we've had what, three or four neighbors who had their cars hit 
Yeah. Um, and from, some, and most of the time, they don't know who the hell hit it because the people just keep going. They keep going. And like Charisse was trying to, like Charisse was saying earlier, the girl was, when she looked out the window, the girl was trying to push her wheel in. And then she would try to push the wheel. And then she would run back to the driver's side, start the car up, and rev the engine. She was trying to leave without telling, what you know, trying to hit, mm-hmm. do a hit and run pretty much. Because she was drunk and she knew that if she didn't get out of there, she was going to jail. Yeah. And I don't know if that was her mom because she did. She had somebody on the phone. I'm guessing that was her mom that was on the phone because I don't. I don't remember the cops calling anybody. But um, she kept saying, "I didn't see the car. I didn't see the car." Now, how do you not see this big, big car <laughs> pop? I just say, I said, I think you know she was. Of course, she was inebriated. And she probably was looking at her phone or something, wasn't paying attention. Probably an area that she's not um, familiar with or whatever. And she probably panicked when she looked up or something and it was too late. Because, I mean, when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all she really did a number, y'all saw the pictures. I showed y'all the pictures. Like, that's, you know, it was, it was, it was messed up. But like my wife said, Nobody was hurt. Nobody's life was taken. Mm -hmm. You know, a car is is materialistic too, and it can be replaced. So it can be. It's not. We had CJ and I had had some conversation, and you know, we wanted to work on some things. um, Continue to work on our credit, and you know, go and get cars by next year. Because we wanted to try to enjoy. At least a year or two without a car payment. Um, but God didn't see see it that way. He seen it another way. So we won't be doing going through with the goal that we had. We will be getting another used car, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. And another thing that I thought about when I cause when I say I went through it emotionally, like I was I was really upset for a couple days for a number of reasons. And I really thought about it and I was like, you know what? as close as our family is maybe this is another way to get us closer because everybody grows every day and we all be going and doing our own separate thing but bringing us back to one car we really have to work together as Mm -hmm. a family to make it work in one vehicle so maybe you know god does everything for a reason there's a reason for everything maybe we have another slide there's a reason for everything so maybe there's something behind this that we just don't know but I'm not going to question them nope. we're not supposed to so I'm just happy that we have another car like we keep saying I'm happy that it was not a life that was lost I'm happy that she's okay um, she's not stressed out having to look for another car but <laughs> I'm happy that she is doing okay now Y'all here, so I know y'all know that's just the type of people that we are. You know, we're gonna try to look at the brighter side of things. But my beef is more so with these insurance companies. Yeah. Because how is it that we are sleeping in our bed, a drunk driver hits our car, and that's it. And I know granted. The insurance company, her insurance company, the girl that hit our car, they did their part. You know what I'm saying? They did their part. Some, you know, they did what what the rules are right now for all insurance companies. They did what they were supposed to do. And then our part, you know, our insurance company did their part. But my thing is, there should be some kind of clause or some kind of something in 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 in. I I don't want to say reward, but there should be some kind of clause or rule and in these with these insurance companies. Like if you hit somebody's car and total their car, it's not like my our car is in the shop and we're getting it back. If you total somebody's car and now they are shit out of luck, don't have a car because you ruined my uh, their car. There should be some something in there that says. We're going to do this, plus we're going to give you 
talking about for the rental? Not the rental, for to replace your damn car. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I agree with that, but... <clears throat> The like, rental, yes, that's a given. Like what we was talking about, like everybody is not in a situation to where they just have money sitting in the bank to just go yeah. and buy another car or their credit isn't that perfect credit score to just walk up to the lot and walk off with a car. Right. And that's, you know, that's fine. Everybody, I'm sure, will want to live that life. I know we want to live that life, but you know, life happens. Mm -hmm. Um, But when it comes to the rental piece of it, if our car was getting fixed, we would have a rental car until our car got replaced, no, right. fixed. But because the car was total, they were only able to give us an additional two days. I'm not sure when y'all going to see this video, but the rental car has to go back on Monday. So we would have the 29th. So we would have had the vehicle for a total of eight days. Yeah. Um, and then we're just left to whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, fine. You cut a check to pay off the vehicle. Another thing that's very important, I don't know if, you know, everybody knows, but there's something out there called gap insurance. Mm -hmm. um, these two vehicles that we have is the first time that we learned about gap insurance. And I'm very thankful that we have it because if a situation like this happens, you have gap insurance to cover whatever the insurance cover don't cover whatever the insurance company does not cover um so if the insurance company is cutting you a check for twelve thousand but you owe fifteen thousand then your gap will cover that remaining three thousand from the twelve thousand now there are some different there's a different gap companies out there and they say every gap company is a little different um just being transparent you know, there was a time or two that we've had to take a payment and put it to the end of our loan. The gap insurance would not cover something like that if the payment is not made up. Right. So, you know, those are things to to look at as well. But um, as to what CJ is saying, I agree with that too. Because if your car is totaled, still not your fault. It's not your fault. So why not cut something to say, okay, here's something... On a down payment, at least something to get another vehicle. Take this two thousand on top of the check we cut you, and go get yourself another. You know we can't buy you another car. That's right. understandable. But take this here, take this, and go take it as something towards a down payment for another car. And if you don't even use the rest of it, this is another way of us saying we're sorry on our clients' behalf. You know, that's all I'm saying. But it's just like somebody hit your car, they do their little part, and then they be like, "All right, fuck off." So be it. You know, can't I don't know what else to tell you. We did our part. You know, I just don't think it's right at all. It's not right because, like Cherie said, that's not. We, you know, everybody's not in the position to be like, "Okay, yeah, they just towed my car yesterday, bro." No, nah, I'm just gonna go get another one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody not in that position. And even if somebody is in that position, don't nobody want to do that. It's still an inconvenience. It's still an inconvenience. You know, so. And not everybody's in that position to where they have a second vehicle to use right. either. Now, what if, what if we didn't have two vehicles? Then what? You know what I'm saying? Now we, now we are um, depending on somebody else to get us to work and all that. You know, so. But. I don't want y'all to think or feel like I'm upset right now because I'm not. I'm just saying, I just think, I just think they, you know, it should be something to, you know, I'm just saying, that's all. I don't think it's right that people could just be hung out to dry, you know, and they had nothing to do with it. It'd be different if, It'd be different if we was in the car coming around the bend and she was right behind us and I slant, I hit the brakes too hard and then she hit us. Then that's a whole different story. We caused the accident. But we was in the house sleep. Our car was parked on the street. And and that was total because of a drunk driver. And now we just don't have another don't have a vehicle. We got you know, we just without that vehicle or a vehicle. It's just crazy. Y'all put down below. If you want to, if you've ever been, experienced something like this or how y'all feel about the situation and what I was just saying about the insurance, or do y'all know somebody that went through this? I just, 
I definitely agree with you. I feel like there's more that insurance companies can do. Mm-hmm. We pay out all of this money, and when I say we, I mean we as the people, as people, of mm-hmm. course, pay all of this money to insurance companies. There should be more that's covered for situations like this. Right. Like, unfortunately, um, the vehicle that we are left with, my vehicle, is a vehicle that people out here stealing. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> I had to make sure, I had to contact my, and that's another reason why I always made sure that I parked behind CJ. Now, I don't want to speak this because we have been thankful, and we are in between three police departments. Right. So, <clears throat> We are thankful enough to have never had any issues, but you know, now I had to make sure that okay, we are covered if somebody even tried, you know, because now that's going to be the one that's out there in the driveway by itself. But and we have all of these cameras, but still, you just never know mm-hmm. with technology. But you know, it's just insurance companies should definitely do a little bit more for all the money that we pay. But again, we are not upset. Um, that's just our opinion on how we feel about it. Um, as anybody would be, we were upset, especially myself, with when it first happened in the first couple of days. But having to just really sit down, pray about it, think about it, I'm very thankful for you know having a second vehicle. Very thankful that nobody was hurt or killed. And again, I just feel like maybe God is trying to reel our family back together a little closer because we ain't going nowhere, but right. a little closer, and, and we got this. So God got a plan. That shit could have went left. It, it could have went left if she would have hit the wrong car. Is what I say. She could have hit the wrong car in the wrong place in the wrong neighborhood at the wrong time, mm-hmm. and it could have went completely left. It you know what I'm saying? And when you hit somebody's car like that, you don't know who gonna come running out of that house. You don't. And what they going and what intentions they have without asking any questions. But we never, not once, made her feel uncomfortable. We didn't scream at her. We didn't yell. Because first of all, our car is involved in something that's probably woke our neighbors, which did wake mo- most of our neighbors. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so we are, I, you know, we felt bad about that too. You know, our neighbor was the one that called us, you know what I'm saying, to let us know, you know, she saw it, you know, and heard it, whatever. So... Anyway, all in all, we say all of this to say that life is way more important than anything materialistic. <laughs> because like we said, she could have hit a person or a child or, or, or ran up on the curb and ran into somebody's bedroom, you know, right through the wall, the bricks or whatever. You know, it could have been a lot worse, so... We just grateful that she's okay and we're okay. Nobody was hurt. And you live and you learn. And we are on our way to getting us another vehicle. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Now, I do want to say this, though. <clears throat> In all honesty, people make these rational decisions to do things to go out here, party, have a good time. Nobody is saying that you can't do that. But be smart about the aftermath if you know that you've had too much to drink there's ubers out here there's yep. lyft out here um get a nearby hotel or if you feel like you're just gonna be partying like that make sure you tell somebody in your family that's not gonna be drinking so that you can come and get them because not only will you inconvenience somebody else you can hurt yourself or you can hurt or kill somebody else yep. you have to be careful with everything that we do in life always 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 think about what you are doing what it can do to you and other people a lot of people always saying f other people or f that or f this you really can't say that and i'm not talking about those who say it in a joke way i'm talking there are really people out here who say it and they mean it Mm -hmm. you can't say that because you truly inconvenience other people so think about what y'all doing out here I always say that there's a, I mean, I say there's a difference between drinking and driving. I mean, drink and drive and drunk and drive. Drink and drive is when you go out with the fellas or the female, you know, your ladies, you have a drink or two, but you still function. 
but you you still had a dream. But you could function. You're on your way home, and you're fine. You're driving. You, but drunken drive is totally different because you know you drunk before you get behind the wheel, and you still try to, in your mind, feel like tell yourself, "Oh no, I'm fine. I can, I, I can, I'll be fine. I've done this before, or whatever." But it's just not worth it. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it. And you know, we hope we ain't hold up too much, take up too much of y'all time. You know, this was one of the story times, you know, that we, we I mean, before we wanted to share nothing like this, but, you know, it, it may be to help somebody or maybe somebody went through it previously or, you know, but no, somebody, we, God forbid anybody go through it in the future, but hopefully some of the information that we gave y'all will help y'all if, you know, something, you know, knock on wood, but yeah. I know, but, I hope that it helps stink because we let her know everything. Oh yeah. You know, and that was one of the things that I thought about when I seen the young lady, that's still somebody's child. Mm -hmm. You know, and I didn't know how young she was. I didn't know that she was almost 30, but yeah. you know, it's a lesson. So please, 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 let's <laughs> teach our children. Let's teach our youth. If you go and drink, we can't stop you from doing it. If you go and drink, you go and smoke, you gonna do you. Get you a designated driver. Get you a designated driver or stay your behind where you are until you sober up. Yeah, or stay in the crib and do it. You know, and right after you finish, you can go right to bed. You ain't got to you ain't got to operate a, 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 a vehicle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or none of that. You just go to bed, you know. But with that being said, y'all, we about to get up out of here. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little bell to be notified whenever we drop a video. Um and yeah, that's it. That's it. Love you. Love you too. Frank, love you. And we love y'all. Make sure you tell somebody you love them if you haven't already, because tomorrow is not what? Promised. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your evening and a good, a wonderful rest of your weekend. Or week, whenever this drops. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And remember, y'all, don't 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 risk your life by getting behind a wheel if you know you can't operate that vehicle. Alright? Until next time folks, peace.